talked about being free of the clutter and the complexity in your home. And today I'm here to talk to you about being clear of the clutter and complexity in your head. Now we all live with a lot of clutter and complexity in our head. And I came across a really wonderful quote the other day that I want to read to you. And it's from a 20th century spiritual teacher named Eknath Iswaran. And he says this, when your mind stops racing, it is naturally kind instead of rude, naturally loving instead of selfish. Now, if we have a choice of what we want to be in this world, I think most of us would choose loving and kind over selfish and rude. And sometimes we're driven to being selfish and rude because our minds are moving so fast and so overwhelmed with clutter and complexity that we can't come back to what he indicates is a natural state of loving kindness. So underneath all of this clutter is a natural state of loving kindness. Just like under all the clutter in your home is the natural beauty and the natural hospitality that your home offers. So we have a hospitality in our minds and in our hearts that if we can just get rid of the clutter in our minds, we can get to that state and truly be loving and truly be kind. But first we have to choose to be free of the clutter. Now, a lot of the clutter that we have in our heads during the day consists of complaints. Now, we listen to complaints going on in our heads all day every day. In fact, if we really tune into the chatter in our minds, we'll realize that most of what we're listening to is complaining. Now, some complaints are really worth listening to. If you have a significant pain in your body, you would do well to tune into that complaint, to listen to that discomfort, listen to that pain and address it. If you're having trouble at work, being discriminated against or being harassed, you would do well to listen to that complaint, to listen to your heart, and maybe even share it with others who can help move you out of that uncomfortable spot. But really, most of the complaining we do during the day is nothing but clutter that eats up our time and eats up our energy. I did an experiment just the other day, and I kept a log of all of my complaints. I'm going to read them to you right now, and you'll probably recognize some of them as complaints that you might have too. And, um, and then I'm going to talk about why these complaints are things that I really don't want to listen to, that I really don't want to give a lot of energy to, but let me first read them to you. There are too many books in my house. Someone blocked the intersection and I can't get through. Where did 20 single socks come from? I'm cold. I'm really tired of the winter. I can't get the grease out of the grout in my kitchen. The carpet needs to be vacuumed. I have a huge stack of papers to go through and no time to go through them. I just dusted the bookshelves and they need to be dusted again. The TV antenna has not got good reception at all. All the leads are broken in the pencils when I need to use them, and I am the only one who ever changes the toilet paper roll. Now, I'll tell you a funny story. My daughter came across this paper the other day and looked at it, and she said, this paper is kind of a drag. Well, it is. It's a drag to look at that all together. And in fact, if you had a friend who had nothing to say but this kind of thing, you wouldn't want to spend a lot of time with them. But you spend a lot of time listening to yourself saying these things all the time. So we really need to look at these minor complaints and ask ourselves, how much time and energy am I giving over to listening to these things? And not only listening to them, but really magnifying and turning every single one of those things, whether it's the car in the intersection or the toilet paper roll or the single socks or the dust in the house, and turning it into this 
huge drama. And sometimes you have that drama so big in your head that you have to pick up the phone and call a friend and tell them about this drama. And then you draw them into the drama and you have a long conversation and they have to share about their dust or their toilet paper roll or their, their drama in traffic. And then all of your life starts becoming this clutter in your head, this constant complex drama going on in your head about how the whole world is conspiring to make you unhappy and miserable and uncomfortable and in pain when in fact you're causing so much of it yourself by giving over your precious time and your precious energy to these minor complaints. Now, I did something, it's kind of funny, I have my iPhone here, and I found this app that takes your voice and speeds it up into a chipmunk voice. So I took all of these complaints that I had over the course of one day, and I sped them up into a chipmunk voice, and I'm going to play it for you now. Well, there you have it. A day's worth of complaints encapsulated into about 15 seconds of chipmunk voice. And the truth is, that's about as much time and energy that I should be giving over to these complaints. And when I just treat them lightly and treat them with a sense of humor like this recording does, I can release them and be free of them and not be imprisoned by these thoughts. And what's more, I rid myself of that clutter and I come back to this beautiful natural state of being loving and being kind and being compassionate. And I can encourage myself to be humorous and to be easy on myself. Take a moment and think about how are you using your mental energy. Where do you want to put your mental energy? Clear up the clutter. Take a light approach to your complaints. Have a wonderful day.